So, what are we really made of? There are three states of matter, liquid, solid, and gas. Solids have a fixed shape because the particles are held tightly together by forces called bonds. These bonds are very strong and stop the particles from moving around. The particles are fixed in place and can only vibrate. This stops the solid flowing. The particles in liquid are very close together and they can move past each other quite easily. The bonds in a liquid are weak enough to let the particles move past each other, but strong enough to hold them close together. Particles in gas are very far apart and move very quickly in all directions. The particles are able to move all over the place because there are no bonds between them. Therefore, a gas does not have a fixed volume or shape. When we squash a gas, the particles are moved closer together. The more the gas is squashed, the closer the particles will get. The first person to ever consider that everything was made of particles was Democritus at around 400 BC. Around 70 years later, Aristotle thought that the universe was made up of five elements, earth, fire, water, air and ether. Ether is the atmosphere, the sky and the air. The ideas of Democritus were mostly forgotten for the next 2,000 years. In the 19th century, John Dalton suggested that all materials were made from tiny particles and the property depended on the tiny particles it was made from. He even made a table showing the masses of different particles. You could call this an early periodic table. In 1827, Robert Brown noted that pollen grains in water seemed to behave strangely as if they were alive. When he repeated the experiment with a plant that had been dead for a long time, this wasn't the case. So another explanation had to be found. In 1827, Desolux imagines that pollen grains might be moved by other particles around them. Later, Albert Einstein worked out a mathematical model to show that Desolux's idea was right. Then, Jean Perry did an experiment that showed that Einstein's model was correct and that it indeed caused by water particles as the 19th pollen. century turned into the 20th century, scientists discovered more and more about the particles, known as atoms that make up materials. Scientists found that the atoms were made up of smaller particles. Electrons were discovered by J.J. Thompson, protons were first discovered by Ernest Rutherford, and neutrons were discovered by James Chadwick. We now know that those smaller subatomic particles are made of even smaller particles. Scientists, scientists still think there is more to find out about the subatomic particles. You may have heard of the Large Hadron Collider, the largest and most expensive particle accelerator in history, which has been designed to find out more about the subatomic sub particles that make up electrons, protons and neutrons. Thank you for watching my video on particles. Mr. Weller and the rest of 70.